We are going to do this. We are going to, this will be our policy. We will always condemn the acts of violence. Always condemn acts of violence. Always condemn acts of violence. That's why I like every movement to have professional spokesmen. Not people who come and talk out of passion. The people who can reason and reason again before they talk. And who can defend what they say without apologies. Every movement should have such people. Whom they, I can call them a, a, a rapid response think tank. That when things happen, that rapid response think tank will immediately meet together and say, what is our talking point? What's our presentation? Then they agree, and then any of them can face the press or go to the social media and give example. If it is to, to meet the, uh, the, the radio or BBC or whatever, he goes using those talking points to present the matter. We have come to a point where we have to, we have to know what we are telling the public. Not, not, we don't just speak in the abundance of our hearts. That's not how you speak in politics. In a struggle like this, you don't speak out of the abundance of your heart. No. You speak, you have to, you have to make sure that you, you have debated the, your presentation with the minds that can reason and help you. So that you have a way of presenting it to the people so that it doesn't, it doesn't achieve the opposite of what you wanted to achieve. That's why I used, to, I used to be surprised. Things happen. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for some rapid response team to come and give us the stand, the official stand. I will not see somebody. And somebody will come behind people trying to say some things. We need that rapid response team. But there must be people who can, who can de determine, who can, who can assess it and, and make a judgment and say, and then know how to craft it and measure the effects of this position or that position, how to put it, and then they make official statements. I challenge AGC to find somebody. Your leader is very passionate. Sometimes he doesn't do it correctly. Very articulate, very intellectual. But in this movement, it is not all that we need. We need people who can logically, legally, socially, psychologically, Examine what we want to dish out, how we want to present it. The package can destroy the content. I say the package can deform the content. The package can make the content unacceptable. Don't you know that? How you present a thing can make that thing unacceptable, even though it's the best thing ever. You don't know that? Presentation matters. It is like the package of an, of, uh, of, of an item. If the package looks dull, it looks unacceptable, it looks nasty, even though you have put gold inside, some people will reject it with the back of the hand. So presentation matters. That's what diplomats know how to do. That's what press secretaries of, uh, of uh, government organizations, that's what they know how to do. And they don't do it as individuals. They have a think tank, people who can think. They make a, a conference call within a few minutes. They say, okay, this is our presentation, this is our position. Go ahead and say it. All right? We should contain, condemn acts of self-defense, but we should never, never condemn self-defense. Never. We should never condemn self-defense. Because it gives the wrong message to the people who are fighting for their lives, who are struggling to succeed against an, a ferocious enemy who want to annihilate them and destroy them. So we are not condemning them. And let me tell you, if you ask me a question about any act of violence that took place, my first response I will give you is that they have, the, the La Republic are, are there again. They are out again. What have they done this time again? And what do we expect the armless people of my, pe of my people? Should, should they all be destroyed? This could be one of those cases where they are they decide to defend themselves. So why are you asking me that question? Who brought violence in the first place? I will give it back to you. In, in politics, you don't answer the question the way it is asked. 
when you ask me a question which I don't want to answer, I will answer another question. Okay? That means I will ask myself another question and answer the question. I will not answer your question. I will answer my question. In other words, the question that you're supposed to ask me, that you did not ask me, that's the question I will answer. They call that one deflection. I don't know you say, yeah, I, to, I will not answer that. I will not answer that. Because I have people back home who are looking on me, who are deriving courage to, to pursue, to go forward and to survive and to fight. I must not give you a message that will discourage them. And that will jeopardize them. So uh, you must be able to know how to say it. How can you go after some people have been killed? You go and say that you did it. Your people did it. Okay, tell me what you gained from that. What was, what was the intent, intended gain? I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel what you feel. For somebody who is, who as a leader, who knows what is going on, how people have been massacred, I feel what you feel. But when you make that statement, what do you, what do you intend to gain? Okay. Now, also now, tell me what you stand to lose by making that statement. Compare it to others. Compare. I mean, what you stand to lose in terms of the enemy's reaction. What the enemy will use that statement to do against your people. What the enemy will use that statement to do to justify his evils and, and crimes against humanity. In terms of, tell me, okay, tell me what you gain out of that and what, those are the questions you need to ask. What are the consequences? What, what is the, what would be the, uh, what the effect of this position if we took it in, in, in before cameras? Our, our, our strategy should be, our strategy should be not to take, okay, all right. Do I need to own the actions on the field? Do I need to say we have, we have done this for, for, because the idea of self-defense is to make sure that we establish a kind of presence, a kind of response that will make it, make the enemy know that they don't have the liberty to do all this in the underground. So it is already happening, right? I sh you should just go there and justify such things because, and blame it on the enemy. You don't need to go and take it. You don't need to confess and act. You are not you don't have to. You don't have to confess the act. That's what that's all I, I'm trying to say. You can tell them the people have the right to. And let me tell you, more of them, more and more of them will look for ways and means to defend themselves, and they have the right to. And if somebody came against them with their weapon and they have, or even if they found weapons and they were able to do this, what will you do if you were all trapped by people who were ready to gun you and kill you down and destroy you and wipe you off? What will you do? So, so let me tell you, I would have told the people at the press that more and more of this shall, be in, shall multiply in southern Cameroon. More are going to go down because people have an instinct they, are, they have an instinctive response to defend themselves by any means. They are, they are, and they are, they are forced, they will use equal and proportionate force to defend themselves as much as it is within their powers. I will tell you that. But I don't need to own that action. I don't need to claim a yes. Because even when it is obvious, investigations are still needed, right? That's what happens. People do investigations. Even, even Chiroma, as stupid as he is, and even Paul B and Bim Vondo, as stupid as he is, he lies. They lie. They are all like, it's a la republic of liars. They lie until they will tell you that, they will tell a journalist in prime time television that the, the armies have never shot one man. One. They have never shot one man. You know why? 
what they say on camera does not change their game on the ground. Rather, they have an interest to hide whatever they are doing from the press so that they will not, will not complicate the, their issues in, before international community and their image, which is already very bad. You will not also jeopardize their soldiers who are on the field. So those are the things we have to take into consideration. Those are the things we have to take into consideration before we make pronouncements to the public. And I allow, I would permit any internet troll to go and say anything that he want to say on his own. But leaders in this movement, we have to make sure that we, we take positions that are well, we are uh, well calibrated by certain minds so that we take a position, it will become the official position. In politics, there's always an official position and an unofficial position. There's always classified and unclassified. So when you have a classified position concerning a certain matter, you don't take it out there to the press. I'm trying to say this area that you went out to talk in this manner was supposed to be the classified in this business. And let me tell you, we, you, you can say, say things when we hold meetings and when we share these things, but, 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 but not, 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 if, not when the international press, the mafia, international mafia press, like, your, uh, like, like BBC, when the BBC wants to interview, know that it is the international mafia that is trying to get your mind. When RFE wants to interview, know that it is the international mafia that is trying to dig, to mine you, to mine, to know what is in your mind. So I give them the official, the unclassified, the, 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 the unclassified. All right. So we have to do what? Encourage all kinds of resistance. They will never own their actions. In fact, in this program, I have encouraged it. They will never own it. That's it. I have encouraged self-defense to the core. But I will never own it. That is supposed to be the way. Don't own it. Keep encouraging it. Because the people who are actually going to pay the price are hearing you are receiving either strength, courage, or discouragement. So I will never discourage it. I will never, I will never own it. But I will never discourage it. I will encourage it. But I will never own it. So that you don't use my arguments to go and crucify somebody. Some people are in prison now. And they have said that they stand for independence. There are some things that I confess today, they can use it against them. So I will never use it. I don't need to confess it. This is a government that arrests people before they will, look, they will think of what to charge them for. It's not people who investigate, they find a reason before they charge you and they arrest you. They arrest you before they look for what to charge you for. So, military propaganda is only that military propaganda is effective when we have two militaries. Military propaganda works when there is a military versus military. So you have military propaganda. We cannot be playing with military propaganda when we don't have a military. No. But those acts of self-defense shall shall instill enough terror and 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 and, and uh, and, uh, uh, and disable the occupation, the occupation forces, and confuse them, and, and, and make, make it uneasy for them to govern our people. That is what will continue to happen. But not military propaganda. Military propaganda, when ISIS make their propaganda and say, we did it, we did it, because they have, they have an army. We don't have an army. We don't have an army. That doesn't mean that we, the people will not defend themselves. We don't need to confess something in the press for it to be real, for it to have the effect we desire. That's what I mean.
All right. This is very, very important. This is very, very important because it's going to be happening now more and more and more. We have to, we don't have to, we don't have to sympathize with La Republic. I'm giving you a simple strategy. Nobody in this movement should sympathize with La Republic. If you ask me about the soldier or the other one that was killed, I would tell you about the 128 that were killed mercilessly for carrying leaves and branches. I will tell you about a, more than 150 that have vanished like vapor in our land. I will tell you, I will tell you, you will tell me to stop, I will not stop. I will tell you all the evil that is going on right now. The one Dr. Christian that was beaten and killed, that's what I will talk, talk to you about. I will not answer your question. I deflect it. I give, I give your own. You want to tell me to condemn what? To condemn the killing of a, 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 a soldier by who? Who came with violence against the other? They went and met him in the brigade to kill him. Let me tell you. Let me say this. The, for, the declaration of our independence has to be defended at two levels. Have to be defended at two levels. The first level is... Uh, the first level is at individual level. Then there is territorial level. Individually, we have to defend ourselves because the enemy is coming against us directly, knocking our doors in Kale Kale, beating us, maiming people, beating people. The intestines will come, our bones are broken. They are they are raining, they are raining terror in our life, in our in our community. Whole villages have, have they are scared for their life, they are run. To the, to the bushes and found themselves in other places. That's what is happening. So, we have two levels of self-defense. We must defend ourselves individuals. That is, is, that is by the instinct of survival. We have to defend ourselves by any means to survive. <clears throat> Anybody who does not count your life uh, as uh, worthy enough to be spared or to be protected. How does he expect his own life to be worthy and enough to be protected and preserved? So we have to defend ourselves at individual level. The second level is the territorial defense. Because when we declared independence, we, we were referring to a particular territory which is occupied. So that's when the Bible said, be courageous. And God said, I will drive them out. We need to drive those people out. That is taking control of the territory. That's the second level of the defense program. But at this level, we are not there yet. The territorial defense needs a conventional army. They need something better. They need equipment. They need people. They need training. They need a lot of things to, to take their territory to take for, for territorial uh, self-defense. But at this level of self, personal self-defense, where families have to survive, where individuals have to make sure that they survive, they don't all die. They respond to these killers who come by night and carry them away and vanish. That when they come again, they will give, they will find a way to, to, to reply so that they will not continue to do this with impunity. That's at the level of individuals. So we have to. When we declared our independence, that is what we did. We, we activated self-defense. So when it is happening now, let's find a way to talk about it without discouraging those who have to defend themselves. And let's find a way of talking about it without exposing them to a point where it will not be a plus to the people in Ground Zero. Let's find a way of sharing this information so that if we intended to mobilize the people towards that cause in terms of money and human resources, we can still do it without going full blown or full throttle to begin to take, uh, to endorse every action 
on that that will be done because more are still going to be done the la republic is still going to the, you know what you know what la republic is going to do very soon they are going to go to people like Ekema, those people that we have hated in social media whom we really have whom it will it will be it will convince everyone that ambazonians killed this person they will do it the the IC style they will arrest him they will naked him they will wear a mask and then they will cut his neck in on camera and then write a note that this is ambazonia we have done this they look for any any sellout englishman to speak on, on camera that we are sure we are dealing with the one by one something that we cannot do and if we are always claiming responsibility what do we do we'll claim responsibility too for that one and they'll spread the image all over be careful these people don't love any they can do anything if that will stick on us they will do it and if that will make us lose they will do it we don't need to take in fact i don't need to think about it if you tell me that they have killed 10 gendarmes they have killed, kept 10 bees in this place i don't need to answer you i don't answer that kind of nonsense and so what i will tell you how many people were killed before those gendarmes were killed i will tell you i will cast a cloud over whatever your reasons are whatever you are trying to stick on me i will cast a cloud over it and stop step in fact you regret for ask, asking me that question that's what's supposed to be so that we preserve the good and we protect our people until we are able to come up with conventional army trained equipped ready to match the other enemy then we can now say we are toe to toe with them we are told to do. When we don't have what they have, the element of surprise will be our strength. When they don't have what we have, we should not tell them our strategies. Ah, he took there, he went there, he took the bike, he went, they went here from place to place. You put all the bike people, become, they become targets. So, 